Hi there, these comments are for TE and this is Michael from OTC buddy, OnlineTOEFLCourse.com and you just keep on sending me those practice tests. Let's take a look at your latest email and your practice test. You say, Michael, please listen to evaluate score and provide feedback on my independent speaking practice test. My question is from our YouTubers. Who gives you feedback when you complete your speaking practice test? Okay, the question is, explain whether you agree or disagree with the following statement. Robots will replace the majority of the jobs in the next decade. Then give specific details in your argument. And here is your question for the day. Does it matter if I repeated the question sentence as an anchor for my answer or should I paraphrase it whenever I can to showcase my fluency? The latter, my friend. Always paraphrase if you can. A parrot, a bird can repeat sentences, but it doesn't mean the bird has language. So to, to answer your question, paraphrase the question whenever you can that showcases your fluency better. And this is also important for the TOEFL reading and listening tasks that you will see during the speaking section of the exam. Okay, so will robots replace the majority of the jobs? <coughs> occupy most jobs in the future. I agree that robots will occupy mo say robots. most jobs in the future. As many companies invest millions of dollars in automation and artificial intelligence. For example, uh, Uber, the Texas company, develops a plan to replace all their human drivers by a fleet of self-driving cars. I would say is developing or will develop a plan. Maybe is developing a plan works better there. The present progressive. For 2030. Also, Amazon start to deliver their goods to their customers uh, using drones. How about Amazon has started or is starting? Uh, without any human intervention. Uh, moreover, uh, Mayo Clinic Hospital installed a drug vending machine which can process uh, prescriptions faster than any human pharmacist. All these are signs that robots will dominate the job market. They're going to replace pharmacists? Wow! Woo! That'll be crazy. Okay, let's take a look at the rubrics here. Let's see what we have. They say robots should replace about 60% of all the jobs that we currently have right now. That seems to be the trend. Uh, I think overall, this is a, a, a pretty good speaking task. Uh, I'm gonna put you at least 3.0 out of four, 23 points out of 30 on this. So listen to it one more time and see if I can uncover any, any problems with your speaking here. I agree that robots will occupy most jobs in the future. As many companies invest millions of dollars in automation and artificial intelligence. Just put, because many companies have invested millions of dollars in automation and artificial intelligence, right? I would just say because there. For example, uh, Uber, the Texas company, develops a plan to replace all their human drivers by a fleet of self-driving cars uh, before 2030. I would say is developing, as I said a minute ago. Also, Amazon start to deliver their goods to their customers uh, using drones uh, without any human intervention. Can you say has started or is starting? So then, this is what I want you to do. I want you to go to Google and, and think about what the present, simple present tense does, okay? Okay, here, here are your keywords. The simple present tense versus the present continuous tense in English grammar. Here's more key words. The simple present tense versus the present perfect tense in English grammar. So I think you can probably improve your language use a little bit as you control your verb tenses a little bit better. Uh, moreover, uh, Mayo Clinic Hospital installed a drug vending machine which you can process uh, prescriptions faster than any human pharmacist. All these are signs that robots will dominate the job market.
I agree. Yeah, so all these are signs that robots would, would do dominate the job market. So you also had a few minor problems with word stress as I listened to your response the second time. So go into the pronunciation part of my course and study that area called word stress. I think it's like pronunciation lessons 25 through 28. I think that would be a good one for you right now. Okay, and uh, thank you for completing this practice test and uh, keep up the good work. I'm gonna put you at 23 points out of 30 on this one.